guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes 7 and 8 of Sinfigure X. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 and 3, 2, 1, go. He still be in the peacekeeper after four seasons of this show. You gotta love her, girl. Positive baby. Oh my god. Just, uh. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry again. You know how. When you have a favorite YouTuber and you always think they're going to be here quote unquote forever and then something happens and there's a day when they're like, I'm retiring. Well, that just happened to me a couple of minutes ago. Uh, one dude who I've been watching since high school. Yeah, high school. Officially just retired his YouTube channel. He just had his last video uploaded. And so it was really sad and bittersweet. And so I'm so upset about it because, I mean, it's just like, damn. And you sit there and you think about it and you're like, especially as a content creator myself, there's going to be a day where I'm just going to be like, I'm probably going to retire too. And you, you don't think about it, but then at the same time you do. And it's kind of sad and surreal because it's like, you have a way of getting money, you have a platform, you have um, other things, things in the future that you want, and it's like, can you really get that from YouTube sometimes? Yes, yeah, sometimes. No, you never really know. And it's scary to really think about. I know it's kind of weird to talk about this for a couple of minutes, but you know, ah, uh, God, that just really hurt. I mean, ooh, this might be on my mind for the whole fucking day. Mm. But now let's continue with the fucker. That's one. Well, that's two. Technically three. That's four. And that's five. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are children so hard headed? I mean, when someone says, don't use it, don't use it. <laughs> ah. Ah. 
I get that Saint Germain, but I mean, Jesus. Now, you know, I honestly thought that that punch would have just knocked all of St. Germain's armor off. And, you know, I probably would have sat here looking like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, one punch, child. I mean, girl. <laughs> Even though we enemies, I'm still gonna protect you. It's <laughs> mm. not true, though. Because you're going to regroup, you're going to talk about your feelings and it's like that with Adam and Tiki. Well, sometimes you can't stall it all by yourself. But
okay, let me say this. Even though we are four seasons into this show, the similarity between Kimmy <laughs> Kim and Mustafa is so there. Like, oh my god. I mean, there are some differences, of course. But, I mean, ooh. Because I'm currently playing P5 again so that I can buy P5R, but, like, oh my god. Like, it's not even funny. Yeah, but you need to know your limits, and you're at your limit. Go sleep. It would be fun. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh my God. Oh, jeez. Tiki, oh my god, you one of them girls, oh my god. You know, honestly, I can't either. He is such a dick. I mean, can't y'all just kill him and just be your own, like, type of ish? I, we can't do that. I mean, honestly, can we? Please? <laughs> I mean, he's honestly walking all over these three. Tiki ain't doing it. <laughs> Are we seriously going to call it the full zone? <laughs> then how do I remember that? Is it also because the... Well, I'm going to call it a full zone too. 
because of the blue aura glowing around them too. Because it's only <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Maybe, but you did what you thought was right. Yeah, you're still going to have to deal with the consequences about that, but it was right, in your opinion. I promise. See, honestly, are those three even a match for her? I mean, that is. <laughs> mm. Never mind. Are y'all three matched for those two? <laughs> Yeah, but you can't worry about that now. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that's the key. Hopefully, I mean, please let's not jinx this.
one. Stay your ass down. Just go get the other girl. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Y'all okay, need to, and I can't. <laughs> this season four, and I can't with these characters. They're like couples. Oh my god. Stop, please. Tiki, what the fuck? Seriously? <laughs> You're not serious about this, are you? Oh my god. A question why can't we just sacrifice him like oh my god he's so annoying i don't like him like oh my god this is kind of how i felt like at the time a little bit about gilgamesh <laughs> when i watched fate in and i was like i really don't like this guy and i was like no i i lied i love this guy but, like, i don't like adam i need him to go oh my god He's such an asshole. You want her to sacrifice one of these two comrades? Like, are you serious? I mean, because in a weird way, I don't know why. St. Germain's relationship with him kind of gives me feels towards Maria, Shida Bay, and Kitty. And their relationship and how so tight-knit as a unit and a group that they are with each other. And that they love and care for each other. And that they would literally die for each other in a way. If they had to, if we ever got to a moment. Well, no, we've kind of gotten to a moment like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their first season with together and shit like that. But, oh my god, he really wants her to pick one. Why can't we pick Tiki? Is there a reason why? Because Tiki's still gonna have, like somewhat be useful in it and you're telling me that the other two are not useful in this just kill adam <laughs> that's all that is all kill adam and let saint germain and her group be that main thing i don't give a fuck about tiki let tiki cry in the freaking corner over this man <laughs> Just let him fucking go, because, oh my god, this dude is so freaking annoying. I mean, there, there are a lot of annoying characters in anime, but, like, this dude is now the newest guy who's just freaking annoying to me. Unless we get someone, like, in any of the shows that I'm watching for spring. I mean, because right now, I don't think there really is a guy or girl who... Yeah, no, there is no guy or girl who's annoying to me. I mean, you know, hey, well, no, no, we can still count dude from Sora Online, but because of the fact that Sora Online is postponed, and we ain't gonna see his ass until about, like, what, summer, maybe? Um, you can't really count him. <laughs> I mean, honestly, but this dude really pisses me off. I, I just, I can't stand him. I mean, this is an arrogant prick, and you're just like, oh my god. He is, like I said, he's walking all over these girls. He literally doesn't give a shit about any of them. Yeah, a little bit of St. Germain, because St. Germain is kind of like the one that he values at the end of the day besides Tiki. But the other two, he doesn't give a bad ass about them. So, yes, he's like, you know, it's a liability. Go ahead and sacrifice one of them. Oh, you're not going to do anything? Because I have this weird fucking feeling that if she doesn't say anything to him, he's going to sacrifice both of these girls and St. Germain's just gonna be sitting here like, what the fuck? But like, I, I don't know. 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 I don't know anymore. Here's one thing I've, I've kind of wondered about one of the girls, and it's the girl with the blue hair. And I've been wondering this ever since episode one. How do I word this <laughs> without trying to sound mean? And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be really honest because I've been thinking about this ever since episode one. Was she originally male? Because, I, I don't know. I, I mean, seriously. She seems like the char a character who 
was a man in the beginning and then trans transferred blah, blah, blah. transferred to a female. That's what it seems like to me. I don't know. I'm not 100%. I may look up some backstory on her after I'm done watching this episode and also Sounds of Life. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I just, the way she acts at times, it, it's just been going and running in my mind for like the past few weeks. And I was like, I need to ask this. And I was probably going to go on Twitter and be like, this character, what's her deal? Got some, got some questions. I need to know. But it seems like that. I'm not 100% sure. But like, like I said, Probably when I'm done recording this, before I watch Sounds of Life, I'll probably look it up. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm Hmm. We, we sure are. I'm just still wondering how in the world this full stone is going to go and get this philosophy tell me and tell. I haven't really explained anything, but it's okay. Also, I got my answer. I literally was like, uh, like the second that I stopped recording something. I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and just look. <laughs> and I got my answer. I'm happy about that. I mean, it's interesting that, you know, most, there's like a lot of animes now that are kind of releasing trans and gender attraction shows. So that's good. Okay. I mean, it's interesting. I just kind of wish that we get a little more backstory on Shota Aoi's character because, I mean, that's Shota Aoi for Christ's sake. Do you know how good that man is? Like, oh my God. I'm just saying. He's in one show that I'm currently watching now, and <laughs> even though I think I'm the only person who, no, yeah, I kind of am. I'm the only person who's watching it. He's freaking hilarious at it. Pop team epic. <laughs> freaking go I know I can't, but he hasn't been in a couple of episodes. So I'm like, is his character now done? for some weird reason, because they're doing, like, a live-action portion of it, too, which is kind of weird in the anime, but it's still funny. <laughs> but still. Kill Adam. Get rid of Adam, because Adam need to go. Have Tiki kill Adam! That can work. Put her under a spell and kill his ass. I will be so fucking happy, like, honestly, because, ugh. <sighs> oh my god. Kill him, please. Yeah, but the thing is, does she have enough for it, though? Like, Stefan? Are you even ready for that, though? Is there ever going to be a time where she's going to go back and talk to them?
Mm, he, he's right about that, though. You were only listening, weren't you? She had to be because why was she hurting me? Why did you watch me? I still don't think she's going to do it. Now, I mean, if she does it, it's just up to freaking St. Germain at the end of the day. But in my heart, and because of the fact is that she really cares for both of these two, like, equally as much, I don't think she's going to do it. And I think it's still going to be one of the hardest things she's possibly going to have to do. This is literally their final exam. The commander is freaking all my and everybody else is like, <laughs> it's a good job, <laughs> He just threw her like it was nothing. Huh. Can we take a time out and then come back? Huh. Huh. Don't do this. Wow. 
my money. She gonna die. She gonna die. She's gonna die. I, I just, I know it. I have that feeling just looking at her. Why is she getting so much shine in this? Just like what, nine minutes of this episode. You did. I just know it. Come on. Oh, okay. There's good that came out of this. <laughs> and if she didn't move in time, she would have died. Okay, you go in the building, go get some Sonia, get them out, and then come back. Hmm? 
great. I'm still saying she's dying. She's dying by the end of this. Come on, now it's going to be obvious. More, more obvious after I watch this episode. Great. So you can get stuck there for the next few minutes. Well, I think we're trying to get out. We got five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, and I'm scared. Honestly, I like that because it makes the two, it makes characters who unlikely wouldn't be together to at least team up because <laughs> if you have two people who probably don't work together when you see them and their personalities, mm, you wouldn't necessarily, them, but like, I like that, oh my god. <laughs> minutes ago maybe like at the nine ten minute mark but i get it it's one of those scenes it's like here's a scene that we can't really show but it's just as important but we can't have it with voice i get it
Oh, what she's done after that. I mean, come on now. I told you. I told you. I told you. She was the best freaking character out of the billions. Oh my god. What? I told you. Fuck this guy, honestly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Even though she didn't, technically she made a sacrifice, but to kill him. <laughs> Even after she just died. She probably didn't mean to die by Maria and Chris. But yeah, it just happened. Yeah, she's dead no matter what. You gonna still sacrifice somebody else? I really don't like this dude. I need him to go. Please go. Like, oh my god. You are like freaking Shinji. And everybody knows I can't stand Shinji. The day Shinji died and he will stay dead until, you know, whatever fight series I watch next and I see his ugly ass. But like, you know, it's okay. You died no matter what. I don't give a fuck. But honestly, oh my god, this dude is just so annoying and he just needs to go. <sighs> I honestly thought that, no, like, at the same time, even though I figured either one or both of these two would have gotten sacrificed, I thought this episode was going to end in a really weird cliffhanger where it's just like, hmm, who do you think is going to get sacrificed? We're going to find out in the next two episodes. But no, I mean, they're both going to die no matter what. And freaking Shane Jermaine is going to be the only one left. Are you kidding me? She was the best character! Like, this is some bullshit. This, like, this is some BS. Like, straight BS. I need to just know if Adam, like, in these next few episodes, finally gets his ass handed to him because this dude is a dick and I can't stand him. Like, oh, God. I mean, I've never wanted a character to die so much than him. Before him, it was Shinji. And like I said, when Shinji died... <laughs> In the second fate for me. I mean, that was the best freaking day ever. Because I was like, oh my god, yes. I can't stand your ass. You know I can't stand your ass. Everybody who freaking is sub to me knows I can't stand his ass. Or if you follow me on Twitter, knows I can't stand Sinji and his dumb ass. And like, oh yes, yeah, like, I'm a freaking weakling and shit. And I can't do anything. But like, oh my god. Just like, uh. I need this man to go. <laughs> like, so bad. I mean, Jesus Christ. Right, it's like...
How many episodes we got left? Uh, what was this? Eight? Nine, seven, nine, 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 nine. Got five episodes left. If this man is not gone within five episodes, <laughs> we know it's gonna happen because he, it seems like he is going to be the big bad unless um, St. Germain does something between these last five episodes and she becomes the big bad or it seems like Tiki might end up becoming the big bad because of the fact is Tiki is more presentable from the last few shots of the opening. I mean, yeah, it, like Adam's in the back shot and like um in the last frame for the opening, but it still seems like Tiki's going to be the one who's going to go against her. But I don't know, is Tiki going to absorb St. Germain or something? Or it's an ish? I, I really have no freaking clue, but it's sad because you literally killed Shota Ali's character, the best damn character out of all these girls. Like, oh my god. I've liked this character since episode one. And y'all was like, okay, well, mm, you like this character? Here she is, dead. Like, oh my god. This is like sometimes I can't always, like, especially with, um, death game animes, I can't get attached to a character because <laughs> you don't know how long they're gonna be on the show for until they die. And the next thing you know, you're just like, should I get attached to someone else? So honestly, going into the next episode, I'm not gonna be attached to any of these characters anymore for these villains. I mean, I like St. Germain and... Some of the things I, I agree with and some of the things I don't, but she's the only one who I kind of hope now, like, she makes it out of this alive. I mean, her, the one who's injured, we all know she's gonna die no matter what, because Adam was like, I'm sacrificing her ass, too. But, oh God, yeah, just kill Tiki and Adam, please. Honestly, at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you towards episode 7 and 8 of the Book Your Axis. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.